Hi everybody, Catfish Jones here. I have the sun in my eyes. Pretty bright. Pretty bright indeed. But I am excited that I actually get to go home today. It was a full one, a long one, some real work, but that's why I show up. I'm not showing up to waste my time. Very important things to do. Today for car talk, I don't really have much planned. I just wanted to chat while I drive home. I've been, gosh, I must have made three videos over the past week and this weekend that I did not upload. And not because I forgot to upload them, but you know, I got home and there was something wrong. Either the video was corrupted or the audio was missing. Missing audio? Yes, indeed. Or whatnot. And that's too bad. Too bad indeed. I'm gonna use that. The sun blocker from my eyeballs so I don't get blinded. So I gotta do enough so I can see the road. I might just lean this way a little bit. So yeah, I hope your day was fruitful, was wonderful, was worthwhile. If you work, I hope you did good work. If you don't work, I hope you did something productive anyway. And if you're making videos, I hope you got to upload them. I've been trying to catch up on all of the videos that I've been trying to watch. Uh, different creators that make content that I can't quite keep up with. And so I've been trying to comment on all the videos I see so I can let people know that I am indeed watching. Oh, but goodness. Oh, but goodness. So I'm doing some audio mixing for the record from 08 or whatever called etchings. And I think I have etchings about cleaned up and ready to move to the next phase. And I'll start cleaning up some of the other stuff. And also have a five song deal set up for normal reaction where we have about five of them recorded as well. So I will be moving on to the next phase of that and hopefully be able to share some of those with you guys. Um, all of that stuff is recorded in the legacy format, which is to say not the best sounding audio or whatever, but it existed, that's how it was. And I'm not re-recording anything. I'm just taking the recordings from that era and cleaning them up a little bit. Of course, Etchings 08 was about, well, it was right after I had gotten my recording gear and I had already had this specific record written and had attempted to record it uh, another time via GarageBand. And I tell you what, it was not that it, both of those were what I would consider rough, rough, rough. And even trying to do it in my own system, on my own setup, it was pretty rough. And here I am a decade later, somewhere along the way I had become disillusioned with the album per se probably over the course of this past year and committed to not doing albums but individual singles and specifically I enjoy doing the vlogs if you guys haven't caught my Wednesday CFJ vlog I try to do a little chit chat and then play a song a new song every week an original song and I'm only seven or eight weeks away from a full year when I might actually do some repeats. And I'm also thinking about some different things I can do with those old songs. But I don't know. I don't know what's going on with them yet. Right now I'm just enjoying playing them, 
uh, refreshing myself on some old stuff and relearning it, and if I can't learn it, I just move on to another one. I'm enjoying preparing every week, not just for the vlog and getting a song ready and practicing it and making sure I can play it, but uh, every Sunday I'm doing tiny paintings, and that takes some thought ahead of time. Had an opportunity today to poke my head in my wife's office and take a look at the tiny gallery which she's doing a great job of curating there were a couple that were not up but everything was balanced and beautiful on the wall as I mentioned she did make a sale of one of them which I hadn't intended to sell any of them but it is hers to do with as she pleases and that tickled her pink But these car talks, I'm having a lot of fun with because it isn't, I don't want to say there's no preparation involved because I do have to think at work while I'm doing work about what I might talk about tonight or the night after work. But mostly it's just looking forward to as soon as I get out of work, I get to push that record button and go to town. But needless to say, I am enjoying it. I'm also enjoying Kentucky Rangers Mondays with Moms, with Mom uh, episodes, some different ones. And as I mentioned, it inspired me to take up visiting my grandparents who live in the same town with me on a regular Monday morning basis. My grandmother really enjoys cooking breakfast for me. You know, it makes her feel good that, to know that I've got a warm breakfast in me. And I'm not, I'm not much of a breakfast person myself. I'm not one that has been known to eat a lot of breakfast in my life. But for my grandmother's sake, I will eat breakfast and it's kind of got me thinking about changes in that department that I might like to make. Maybe I become more of a breakfast eater and less of a lunch eater. I've always been somebody who uh, just powers through, get to about 11 o'clock and eat. So I do kind of a brunch and then I can go pretty strong for the rest of the day. But on Mondays, I'm eating a pretty strong breakfast and then kind of skipping lunch. Maybe getting a snack or something. Nothing too sugary, but... I'm just trying to be conscious of what I put in my body, whether it stops me from putting stuff in my body or not. I just want to be aware. Be aware make sure that I'm not promoting an unhealthy relationship with food. Which as Americans, we all have some very tough propaganda to combat in our fight against poor food relationships. Specifically, what I like to think of as the weaponized food. I'm talking citric acid and soy and high fructose corn syrup and MSG. Challenge anybody to find something that doesn't have any of those four things. If you can stay on just that, you're probably eating healthy. I can tell, to change the subject a little bit, I can tell on my drive home here that they have dusted saltish stuff on the road, some de-icer, so they must be expecting they must be expecting some ice. And we had a little bit of dusting on Sunday, yesterday. But that's all basically melted off. And now, as I land, I think I'm gonna have to check the weather and see what exactly it holds. Because if we get some snow, you know, I can't have my grandparents out there shoveling their sidewalk or had a pretty big area to shovel and they're they're not incapable but I just can't imagine them being out there doing all the hard work so if we get a good snow I'm gonna sneak over and, and help them out if not do it for them and maybe it's it's a good trade a warm breakfast for a little bit of snow clearing I certainly will take that anytime I have landed and I hope you guys are well I'm gonna go ahead and call it here can you see the Sun behind me 
whoops, kind of glowing on my beard. But until I see you guys again, oh, how about that? That would make a very good uh, backdrop, something like that. Until I see you guys again, I hope everybody's well. I've been thinking about a new ending for videos in which I'm talking, which is to say not tiny paintings, but like my CFJ vlog, my car talk, and just random videos. And I think I've decided my ending, because you've seen me, I go on and on and on and I say, oh, and then, when really I'm just trying to wrap it up and wrap it up as I am now and rambling instead of wrapping it up. So what I've decided to use as an outro, and you guys should use this too if you are missing an idea for what you want to use as an outro, I've decided to say, and maybe next time I'll think of a way to end this. So until later, take care of each other, and maybe next time I'll think of a way to end this. <laughs> I don't know if that's the one, but today that's what I'm using. So, uh, cheers. Wait, no, maybe that's the ending. I think that's the ending. But leading up to it, the thing I like about cheers is there's no response. Um, as a, as a, you know, when you leave, you can say, bye, bye, have a good night, oh, you too, hope you all, you do, and you can get in this conversation where whoever wants the last word keeps popping in, and, and if you're combative with the last word, you don't usually get it unless you keep the conversation going. Cheers for me is a closer. Cheers. Oh, oh, what do you say in response to that? Well, maybe next time I'll think of a way to end this, but until then, you guys be well and cheers. <laughs>